The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. When you say integrity, you mean something that is reliable or something that is true. Something that is reliable or something that is true. Hebrews chapter 1 verse number 1. God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Hath in this last day spoken unto us by his son. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the worlds. By whom also he made the worlds. So it appears like God spoke twice. In verse 1, he spoke to the fathers. And then in verse 2, he has spoken by his son. Anytime the Bible is translated, Bible translation is Bible interpretation. Bible translation is Bible interpretation. Now, just like, you know, the singular act of adding verses and chapters to the Bible is interpretation. See that? Because the original does not have chapters, does not have verses. The whole book from chapter 1 to the end has no chapter, no verses, no paragraphs. It just flows. That's how it is in the original Greek or Hebrew lexicon. So when interpreters or translators begin to translate and begin to put paragraphs, chapters, and verses, what they are actually doing is interpretation. That's what they are doing. Now, you observe that in interpretation of scripture, that means whoever is interpreting assumes that a set of words would only make meaning together in a paragraph. They assume. That's why they give you paragraphs. They will say, okay, for this to sound like this, this is the beginning of a paragraph and this is the end. And all that is done by Bible translators, which is actually Bible interpretation. Please pay attention because this is fundamental. Now, sometimes they are right in their paragraphing and in their chapters and verses. And sometimes they are wrong. Sometimes they are right. And sometimes they are wrong. Please listen carefully. So in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. An overview of the book of Hebrews will let you see. That the book does a contrast. Of what will happen and what happened after. The book of Hebrews does a contrast. In what will happen and what happened after. For example, in the book of Hebrews, you have types and shadows. And then you have reality. He opens up the book of Hebrews, the writer of Hebrews, with a contrast. With a contrast. So when he says, God, God, in Hebrews 1.1, 1, 1, most writers of the Bible, if not all, never starts a statement with God. They never start a statement with God. God will be the subject matter. But God will not be the intro. God will be the subject matter. But God will not be the intro. So that makes this arrangement of Hebrews 1, 1 and 2 wrong. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. God, you see, that will make this arrangement wrong. And I'm going to explain. Please stay with me. That will make this arrangement wrong. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners. Remember, God, sundry times and diverse manners. The word polymeros and polytropos. Two Greek words I taught you. Which refers to times. 
sundry times which refers to diverse manners sundry times that is diverse manners so he is not referring to the period as much as what was said what was said or different portions of times or manners manners or ways of doing things some versions call it partial truth other versions call it partial revelation other versions call it progressive revelation so either progressive revelation partial truth or partial revelation of the truth partial revelation that is diverse manners which is sundry times partial revelation of the truth so he says in time past the greek word pale p-a-l-y pale in times past long ago pale in time past is pale which means long ago please pay attention long ago is used seven times something that is past so he talks about a period of time not an experience a period of time time that you can refer to look at how peter uses the same expression in second peter chapter 1 verse 9 but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and had forgotten that he was purged from his old sins old sin or past sins old sins or past sins brother jude uses the same word in jude chapter 1 verse 4 for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our god into lasciviousness and denying the only lord god and our lord jesus christ all right so jude used the word before of old the word pale again refers to the old testament writings the old testament writings that's the closest we have to hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 so when hebrew says in time past he is referring to the writings of the old testament he is referring to the writings of the old testament everybody look at me he is referring to the writings of the old testament then he says spoke time past spoke all right now hebrews again chapter 1 verse 1 god who at sundry times and in diverse manner spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets the word spoke take note of that word spoke look at me everybody it definitely cannot be a first person pronoun of god because he says spoke in time past unto the fathers in time past unto the fathers how by the prophets unto the fathers by the prophets now you cannot say by the prophets then you say god spoke you see if god is speaking it definitely cannot be said the prophet spoke if god is speaking directly it wouldn't be that the prophet spoke and if the prophet spoke it wouldn't be that god spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets so you cannot say god spoke and then the prophet spoke because the prophets are not pictures 
The prophets are not pictures. Their message is in words. So it cannot be God spoke and the prophets spoke. Because the prophets are not pictures. Their ministries is in words. So it cannot be God spoke and the prophets spoke. So listen carefully. It is the prophets who spoke. And obviously they spoke on behalf of God. So they spoke as spokespersons for God. They spoke as spokespersons for God. So God wasn't speaking two times. God wasn't speaking two times. The prophet spoke here refers to the writings of the Old Testament. The writings of the Old Testament. And not every writing of the Old Testament, but specific writings. Specific writings. Verse 2 of Hebrews chapter 1. Hath in these last days... So this is what it should have been. The prophets at sundry times and in diverse manners spoke to the fathers. Then verse 2 will be, God hath in these last days spoken unto us in his son. Is it making sense? Spoken unto us in his son. So we put God at the beginning of verse 2, which will mean God only spoke directly once. The previous, the prophet spoke on behalf of God. Verse 2, now God is speaking himself. Is it making sense? The previous, the prophet spoke on behalf of God and not everything that was written but specific things and we will see them in a bit specific things now God has in these last days spoken to us in his son so the prophets spoke did you observe his plural prophets times fathers Manas, did you observe? It's all plural. Then verse 2 had spoken in his son, singular. Verse 1, plurals. Verse 2, singular. God is removed. So at sundry times, plural, and in diverse, plural, manas, plural. Spake in time past unto the fathers, plural, prophets, plural. Verse 1 is plurals. Then verse 2. God hath in these last days spoken to us in his son, singular. So verse 1, many people spoke on behalf of God. Verse 2. God spoke by himself. Is it making sense? Okay. We're interpreting scripture and it's very important. Now. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section. Because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.